Mr. Clown here, Clown Maths. So let's look at circle theorems. First circle theorem we're going to look at is the angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees. If we look at this picture here, we're trying to really work out what's the size of this angle x and how do we know. So I'm going to show you a quick animation to kind of demonstrate this and then perhaps even prove it mathematically because the proof isn't that hard. And we can see that no matter how much I turn this round the circle, it is always 90 degrees. So the theorem, and this would be like rule one of three that we're going to do for circles and angles. Angles in a semicircle are 90 degrees. Let's prove that. So the proof. I've drawn a circle, I've drawn a diameter and made a triangle and we're going to try and prove that this angle up here is 90 degrees. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to split this triangle up into two triangles by drawing a line down to make to meet in the center. Now, since I've drawn that line down, if I highlight this, that's a radius and this is a radius. So this triangle on the left hand side is an isosceles triangle. So if it's an isosceles triangle, it means that this angle here, if I call it x, would also be the same size as this angle here, if I call it x, because an isosceles triangle has two angles the same size. Doing the same thing on the left-hand side, if I highlight here, there's a radius, and here's a radius, I've now got another isosceles triangle, so it wouldn't be the same size of triangle, but it would be a different isosceles triangle, so let's call this y, and that means that this one would also be y because two angles in a isosceles triangle are the same size as well. If we take the big triangle, then x plus y plus this up here is x plus y as well, must equal 180, because angles in a triangle equal 180 degrees. Simplifying that a little bit, that means that 2x plus 2y equals 180 degrees. So we can divide the whole thing by 2 to get x plus y equals 90 degrees, which is exactly what we've said the theorem was that this angle up here, which is x plus y, equals 90 degrees. So I can see here that I've got a diameter making a triangle, so the angles in a semicircle are 90 degrees, so I can immediately write down that this is 90, and then angles in a triangle are up to 180, so I can do 90 plus 67 degrees, which I've already got, is 157 degrees. So x must equal 180 minus 157 degrees, which gives us 23 degrees. So your first task is to work out the size of each angle marked with a letter, give a reason for your answer. And if you're using the rule we just used, it's sufficient to say angles in a semicircle is 90 degrees. It's as simple as that, okay? And obviously you'll either have to work out one angle because it's a 90 degree angle or you'll have to work out the 90 degree angle and then the other one because angles in a triangle are up to 180. Pause the video here and give it a go. And the answer, so it says work out the size of the angle. So for question A, 90 degrees because you've got your semicircle. Question B, also 90 degrees, semicircle, angle at the outside. Question C, though, well, the angle at the outside is, a, is 90, so which means, if I draw that in now, C must be 35 because angles are up to 180. Similarly, this one here is 90, so the three angles have to add up to 180, so you end up with 58 degrees. Hope you managed that. If not, have a look back at the previous example that I just did and give it a go again. For example 2, we have to work out the size of angle A. So these little dashes that are on this line here are just telling you that these are the same size. So it's making an isosceles triangle. So if I do the working for this, this would also be A. But we also know that this one up here is 90 because of the rule angles in a semicircle are 90 degrees. So now it's very, very easy. A plus A 
plus the 90 must equal 180. So that means that 2a is equal to 90. So each a must be 45 degrees. Simple as that. So example three looks a little bit more complicated than it actually is. If we look at this here, if we forget the fact that there's a line here, you've got a big triangle with a diameter. So I now know that these two angles up here add up to 90. I'll just mark that in. So I now know that this whole thing is 90, which means I can work out the size of this little one here by doing 90 minus 35, which is 55. So since I know that's 55, how does that help me find A? Well, if you look and split this into two triangles now, and I'll look at the left-hand side, going down from the top, the circumference to the centre is the radius, and going from the centre to the outside is also the radius. So I know that that's an isosceles triangle, which means A must equal the same as the other angle, 55 degrees. So A is 55. It's as simple as that. Work out the size of each angle marked with a letter. So look at the previous examples that we just covered to see how to go about it when there's a, a, there's a couple of triangles that's been split up and give that a go and come back when you're done. Okay, so for our answers, for question A, if I zoom in a little bit, that's an isosceles triangle. So you've got 90 on the outside, which means both of them are 45. For question B, B, you've got your whole big triangle, so that means that this angle here must be 60, because 60 plus 30 make 90. And then, since we've got an isosceles triangle here, that one out there must be 60, which means angles in a triangle up to 180, so it means B must also be 60. In other words, that's actually an equilateral triangle. You just didn't know that until you got there. Question C. So looking at this big triangle, we know that C plus this little bit here must be 90. So I suppose if we worked out this little bit, we'll know C. Remember, we can always look for source of these triangles when it's split at the middle. Here's a radius there, and there's a radius there. So that means that outside here must be 64 degrees, which means C equals 90 minus 64, which is 26 degrees. And then for the last one, question D, big triangle again. There's my right angle here. So obviously if I knew this one, I would be able to work out this one. So we know that that's 32. We can find out that that's a radius, and obviously that's a radius, middle to outside. So since that is 32, it means this one in here is 32, which means D equals 90 minus 32, which is 58 degrees. Hope you managed that. If not, keep have a look through my solutions again and try and follow through and give it a go again. Example 4, a little bit more complicated still. Notice I've put these little arrows on these lines. They, that means they're parallel, and from previous work, we know how to find angles inside parallel lines. So let's go through it. We have got, let's look for a triangle first of all. There's our diameter, and it makes a triangle going down here. Hopefully you can see that when we're tracing it. So there's our right angle right here. So I can mark that in straight away, 90 degrees. And as soon as you get two angles in a triangle, you can find the third one. So straight away, always do that. Add up my two angles, 90 plus 63 is 153 which means the missing angle in that triangle is 180 minus 153, which is 27 degrees. So I can mark that on my picture. Now this is where our previous work comes in with parallel lines and angles. If I trace this, and then it goes down, and then I go up another parallel line, that's a Z shape that I've just traced. If I draw that outside, if you can trace a Z shape where they're parallel, it means that whatever the angle this is, let's call it X, is the same size as this one here. Now, since I already know in the question that this is 27, that means A is also 27. So for this question, A 
equals 27 degrees and I've solved the question. So your job for this one is to give these questions a go. I would advise you either print this out or you draw the picture or a little sketch and try and work out, I would say, all the angles in, the, in it as much as you can until you end up getting the one which you need, either A or in this case X and Y. This was a little bit of a puzzle. Have a think about it. It's not as hard as it actually looks. Okay, give it a go. And the answer. So question three says work at the size of angle A. I'll just zoom in a little bit. You should have got that this was 90. So angles in a triangle are up to 180. So you've got 59, 69, 79, 31 degrees left over here, which means A is also 31 because of it being as the head angle here. Okay, so it's 31. And then the other one, I said it was a bit of a puzzle. It says, work out the size of angle X and Y. And it says the ratio of X to Y is 2 to 7. So since we know that this is 90 down here, we're left with 90 to share between X and Y, but we're in the ratio of 2 to 7. So times in 2 by 10 and 7 by 10, we get 20 and 70, which make 90. Okay, one last question for you to try. Prove that the angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees. Go back right to the start of the video. Have a look at how I proved that the angle in a semicircle was 90 degrees. See if you can follow it and see if you can reproduce it yourself. Give it a go, see how you get on. Then I'll go through it one last time. Okay, so prove that the angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees. So remember we've drawn this picture where we've drawn the full triangle then I've split it at the middle, which means we get an isosceles triangle this side, so we're both X and X, whatever letter you want, A and A, and same on this side, we're both Y and Y. And we're going to say that that angle plus this angle plus this angle must equal 180, because angles in a triangle make 180. So once you get this picture, it's really easy. All you have to write down is that X plus Y plus the one at the top, x plus y again, equals 180, which means 2x plus 2y equals 180, which means dividing by 2, x plus y equals 90 degrees. And you're done. It's as simple as that. This is Mr. Clown from Clown Mass. Hopefully you enjoyed that video on angles in the same circle. That would be theme one of angles in the circle. And we're going to look at two more this week. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you like and subscribe to keep updated for everything we do. Take care, stay safe and goodbye.